video tutorial we are going to see how to add x and y coordinate data to ArcGIS Pro from Excel so let me navigate to the Excel file so you can see here this is the Excel file let me open this file first so in, a, in order to add the uh, x and y data we required lat long values so this is very important so you can find that this values in the it is in the WGS 1984 geography coordinate system as you can see here now first of all in order to import this data to ArcGIS Pro we need to save it as a CSV file so file and save as once again browse so you can see here currently it is an excel workbook format we are going to change it to CSV comma delineated now let us hit save so we have successfully saved the data sets now let us go back to the ArcGIS Pro and as I already told you that the Excel data is in WGS 1984 geographic coordinate system we are going to change the ArcGIS coordinate system also in order to import the data this is very important so right click on this map and go to the option properties here you can find the option coordinate systems so select it and you can see here currently it is in WGS 1984 web mercator projection so in order to change it come down you can find geography coordinate system come down below you can see world come down and you can find WGS 1984 coordinate system now click OK so we have changed the coordinate system according to our data now we are going to import our data so now go to the option map and you can see add data click on add data and navigate to the folder where you have saved the file so we have converted the excel file to CSV file format that is what I am going to select and click OK to add this data now we have added this uh, excel uh, that is CSV file to ArcGIS Pro now right click on it and you can see the option display x and y data where uh, the x and y values will be taken and it will be cre created as an shape file point shape file so click on display x and y data now you can see the input table has been automatically selected so our uh, table is water quality station wise one okay so if you have multiple data like this you can click this option and select it accordingly now you can see here in, uh, in uh, the uh, x field we need to provide the longitude value and y field we need to provide the latitude latitude value so keep that in mind this is very important so the coordinate system is WGS 1984 now click on OK so you can see here now the value has been converted from value it has been converted to you can geographically see the location right now so let me open the attribute table of this uh, layer so right now it is not saved as a layer we are going to save it let us have a look at the attribute table so you can see whatever we have found it in so you can see the same data which is being transported in the ArcGIS Pro as well you can see here this field is being transported with this location so now in order to convert it uh, into a shape file right click on it and you can find the option data and export features select export features now click on this folder option to navigate to any uh, folder which you are interested in So I have selected this folder Excel click OK and we need to give an output uh, name so now click OK so it has been successfully created as a layer file as you can see here so let me show you another example 
this is the type to example so let me open this uh, excel table and uh, show you so sometime you can see uh, that uh, the values x and y values will be like this so this is nothing but this uh, x and that is latitude and longitude x and y is in projected coordinate system as you can see here so this is in the utm zone 44 and projected coordinate system so in order to add uh, this kind of data says so uh, there is another way let me show first let us remove this uh, layers So after removing this layer, once again right click properties. Once again we need to change the co coordinate reference system. So currently you can see it is in WGS 1984 and come down you can see projected coordinate system. Come down and you can find UTM WGS 1984 Northern Hemisphere. So you can see here I have chosen the project record coordinate system for this location. Now you, we, uh, now you can directly add those data for example. You can click on add data. This is another uh, way to add data, another option. Now we need to select the rows and select the table type 2 you can see here so this is in xlx format we need to we need to convert it file save as browse csv save yeah we yeah, have saved it successfully now we can import it let us refresh the rjs Now you can see here CSV file. Click OK. In the X field, a longitude value will be coming and Y field latitude value will be coming. Keep that in mind. Okay. So we need to change the coordinate system. You can select current map or you can you can click this option and choose accordingly. For example, you can see here WGS1984 zone 44N. Or you can use the map, uh, current map also. Anything. Click on run. So you can see here the location has been successfully converted. So, like this, you can convert the X and Y data using ArcGIS Pro. You can same procedure click on data and export features. Same thing as I have shown you in the previous option. So thanks for watching. If you have any other doubts, please do ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching.